Hey everyone, how is it going? So back in September, I got a hamster. And aside from when he's yawning, he's one of the cutest and most adorable things I've ever seen. And he has been since I picked him up in September. In case you're wondering what he looks like, he's fucking adorable. But what was not adorable about the process was getting ready and picking him up. In August, when I figured out where I was living for the next year, I decided I wanted to get a pet. Except, I couldn't get a big pet like a cat or dog due to space and the fact that I wasn't allowed to. So I started researching other pets and decided upon hamster since it was the one that best fit my desires and lifestyle. While researching hamsters, I realized you could build a cage for your hamster. And being a cheap person and very delusional about how good my DIY skills are, I decided this is what I was going to do. So in September, when I finally moved, I ordered all the parts I needed to build my hamster his cage. Yeah, that was about the easiest part, was ordering the stuff, and um, I didn't even do that right. With hamster cages, there's a certain size cage you need to make it, like, livable for the hamster. So I went to order that bin off Walmart, and, well, they only came in packs of two. So just with the bins themselves, I had upped myself from a modest one-bin hamster home to a two-bin hamster mansion. Yeah, my DIY skills are not that good, but... I was ordering two bins anyway, so I was making my hamster a fucking two bin hamster cage. So the bins I ordered came from Walmart and they arrived late, which was already a good start. And the rest of the material I got came from Home Depot. And since I am terrified of the inside of a Home Depot and just feel generally overwhelmed and out of place, I decided to do the online order and pick it up in stores. So for my bin cage, I ordered some mesh wiring, some circle nails to hold it in place, and a tube to connect the top and the bottom part of the bin. The only part right I got about that order was the mesh wiring. It was in fact the mesh wiring that I was using for the final cage. The U-nails, absolutely useless, did not need them. And well, um, for the tube, I walked into the store and she handed me the bag and sticking out was a pipe this size for a small hamster. So I realized immediately before I even like checked out with my purchase that I vastly underestimated the size of a four inch tube, but I was too awkward to correct my mistake. So I walked out with it. The other issue I encountered is I bought a four inch pipe to go with the four inch tube because I assumed that was how these joints worked. But in reality, the pipe opening and the joint opening were the same size. And if you want to know what I mean by that, I got an end cap for the pipes in case I was like cleaning the cage and didn't want him to run out. Yeah, they don't fit on side. They are literally the exact same height. So, um, that mistake aside, I was still determined to build this bin cage because I had bought all the materials I was going to make this damn cage. So I decided the first step is going to be putting the pipe together because that seemed to be the easiest one. Yeah, I ended up gluing and ungluing this thing seven times because I had a pipe that originally went in the middle to make it longer, except when I put that against the cage, it was too long. So then I took off one side and tried to like work it like that. And then I took off the other side. So in the end, I ended up just putting these together like this and trying to use it, which is what I did for version 1.0 of my cage. Piping complete, I went on to finish the rest of the cage, which required cutting out holes and putting mesh wiring on the side. Yeah, um, I also overestimated how easy it would be to cut through the sides of the bin because um, I got a knife or a pair of scissors or whatever and I couldn't cut through it at all. So I'm sitting here, all my materials ready, and I realize I can't even make the holes for this. So I have to go and order a fucking wood burning tool. <sighs> so the next night I happened to be out anyway near a Sears 
and I decided to stop in and see if I could find a wood burning tool that would work. Yeah, they didn't have anything. I kept trying to describe my project to the guy without telling him, yeah, I'm building a bin cage for a hamster. I'm like, I was just like, yeah, um, I need to cut through a plastic bin, you know, just a normal everyday project. And he was like, oh, okay, what? And I was like, yeah, I don't really like, like power tools or like touch power tools ever. And he's like, okay, well, the only thing that would work is this like massive, expensive, burning thing and I was like yeah no I'm gonna go to Amazon so I Amazon order a wood burning tool set for like $15 it was kind of cool and when it arrives I finally start building the cage yeah first thing I notice it smells fucking disgusting burning through plastic with a wood burning tool didn't buy masks or anything didn't even bother I just sat there with like my shirt over my face trying to pretend I wasn't going to die of plastic poisoning. And um, that's how I spent like four hours sitting on my porch, burning plastic and immediately breathing it in. And um, that took like two hours in total. So I went to bed and then the next morning I decided to do the mesh wiring part, which actually overall went pretty well. I mismeasured one or two sides, but in the end I got everything together and realized my nails weren't going to be able to connect it to the bin. Yeah. So I had to go to the dollar store and buy some duct tape. So I got a roll of duct tape. I start using it and I run out about halfway through the cage. So I then need to go buy some more duct tape from the dollar store the next day and finish the cage. Overall, it actually worked out quite well. My hamster has not escaped, and I only needed to make one change when I bought my hamster. Yeah, also, I say this worked out pretty well. Um, it's the ugliest fucking thing I've ever seen, but it functions. Not once have I ever had to chase around my house to find a loose hamster, and I guess that, to me, was really the most important part of building my hamster mansion. Also, I get to fucking call it a hamster mansion, which is amazing. That being said, the process of actually picking up my hamster, which is a whole nother story, went just as poorly as building the cage. Somehow, I still love this little jerk. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you did not comment if you want to, and subscribe. Yeah, also part two of this video will be coming out next week, so if you want to hear how I further failed in picking up a hamster, check that one out when it's ready. Okay, bye!